Hi internet, I'm Udoka. Welcome to my channel where I usually am talking about my own personal life and my own mental health, my weight loss journey, things like that. And also whatever I want. So if you're into that kind of stuff and a chick talking about her opinion on hot topics, make sure you subscribe unedited. No, we do it raw here. We do it raw. Okay. I have some updates on the Trisha Paytas for today, but first let's flex a little bit. We got a ring light here. Beautiful. We got the microphone. That's right. That's right. That's right. We upgrading. Okay. I'm working on it. So I would love your suggestions on what next to upgrade, like what kind of background should I do? And yeah, I know the video quality is still poor. Please, I know. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And please like this video when you actually like it. If you think my opinion on things is worth sharing, please give it a thumbs up. So there's a couple things I want to cover. And I realized I'm refilming this because I was covering something that's really important to me about this case. And I was talking too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the updates first, and then I will talk about my stance on certain things after, because there's somebody in my comments that's annoying the hell out of me. You know who you are. Don't even play. You know who you are. And I'm this close from, I'm this close about to block you because you saying some lies on my name. But, um, but they're just talking to me like I'm like one of these little T channels that half assed to research. No, 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 no. You're not, you are not going to treat me and make assumptions about me and what I think. I'm not like these other little T channels. Don't even try it. So I wanted to make some clarifications on my actual stance and the actual narrative that I'm trying to push on my channel because I haven't emphasized this. But I think I need to at this point, because like I mentioned in my, my other video, the way people are reporting on this, on this case is annoying me. They're very, um, haphazard. They are reporting a really dangerous narrative and a false narrative. They are missing nuance. They do not have the range for the conversation and it's annoying me. And that's part of my motivation to even post this. I know it's only 30 people watching. Hello to shout out to y'all. But on the off chance, one of those channels stumbles on my video. We're here, baby. We're here. So there are things that Mysterious T talks about in her video. So I 100% disagree with. And or she mentions it and then people kind of took it and ran off with it too much. So I wanted to clarify some of those things in my stance. But first, first, let me share the Trisha updates. The first update is some proof that Trisha's bag is being affected. And Trisha's on the move. Trisha has been working today. She has been working today because she saw, she saw that, uh, oop, her face isn't here anymore. If you don't recall, this is Glow Skin Enhancement. Um, this is the skincare line that Trisha did a collaboration with, you know, remember when she was singing, Trisha pay this miracle elixir, it'll do the trick, sir. yes, it's true. And everyone's like, girl, you know, in the movie, the magical elixir is pee in a bottle. <laughs> then people started doing reviews and they're like, this might as well have been pee in a bottle. Um, it was a hot mess, honey. This collaboration was a hot mess. The packaging wasn't right. It wasn't closed properly. When it was shipped, the stuff was falling out of the box. Creams falling out of the box. Um, when people called in talking about, you don't have the full ingredient list on your product. Is this even legal? Talking about, oh, it's going to be posted on the website soon. And, it, and then they don't post it. It's like, trick, the ingredients need to be on the packaging somewhere, not a 
48 hours later on the website, <laughs> then we get a 404 message. Um, just all these issues. Trisha talking about, oh my gosh, this skincare line fixed my skin. And people's like, girl, you got a chemical peel. Then she's talking about, no, my skin was getting better before the chemical peel. I just, I just had to go because I booked the appointment. But like, girl, this collaboration was a hot mess. And, uh, the lady who owns this, she's like, I'm done. She's like, I've had an, I, <laughs> listen, this girl, email her. I want to see it. I want to see the email to Trisha Paytas at gmail.com. Subject. Uh, girl, we got to talk. I got to tell you something. Body text. Girl, this ain't really working out. Listen, when this collaboration was first announced, I was waiting for this. I don't want to sound like I'm not like I'm just waiting for Trisha's downfall. I'm not like that. Trisha thinks that we don't want to see her happy. We actually love seeing her happy. Like we loved seeing her be on frenemies, seeing her have like, you know, a friendship with somebody who's understanding, seeing her with a partner that she looks so happy with. We loved it. Trisha, we don't want to see you unhappy. We loved seeing you happy. Your ratings were up when we thought you were happy. Okay? But also, you can't forget that she's she's Trisha Paytas. So when this person collabed with her, I was like, I don't know. How long how long do we think this one's going to last? How long is this going to last? I don't think this woman knows what she's doing. I don't think this woman knows who Trisha Paytas is. How did she find her? <laughs> but the collaboration is now over. Trisha's bag is affected. Trisha went to work today because she also needed to answer for this lawsuit that just came in with Anna Campbell. If you don't know Anna Campbell, she is a YouTuber. She makes YouTube videos about psychedelics and and being a free spirit and the drama with her is that her ex-girlfriends came out and they claim essay they claim manipulation they claim you know money owed it's a hot mess honey child and if you want me to report on it I will do the research I can um, but Anna Campbell came back. There's a few drama channels that did report on it. And she came out swinging talking about, I can sue y'all. Actually, I don't know if y'all knew, but I can sue you. And my lawyer says that I do have a really good case. So y'all are going to put, y'all going to wish you never said anything about me. I'm going to sue y'all. And Trisha paid us one of them. And she went ahead, detailed everything Trisha said, um, that she found to be false I mean, this girl is going in. This girl does not care. This girl is using her OnlyFans money to try to restore her reputation or get monetary reparations. Um, again, if you want me to do something, make a video on my thoughts on this issue, let me know in the comments. But just so you know who she is, that's who Anna Campbell is. So that came in the mail for Trisha. Then, Trisha started deleting Mysterious T's videos. Well, actually, she removed one. And then, copyright struck some of them, which I don't fully understand and know how copyright strike works. I just know that three strikes are out. So, Mysterious T just privated them out of fear that her channel could be affected and taken down. And then look who came to, who look who's Captain Save Him. Ethan Tombell. If you need some help, if you, if you need some help, I can help you. I'm, I'm a multimillionaire who's dealt with this over the span of my career and went to court twice for it and won. Um, so if you, if, 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 if you need some help. <laughs> so um, hopefully Ethan helps her sort that out. 
Another interesting thing is there is somebody, one of her subscribers who's claiming that they knew Mr. R, that they have the paperwork to prove he was never fired. Um, and supposedly they will be posting that receipt. Only time will tell. I don't know. This is just some random subscriber. So we don't know. But it's worth mentioning if it's out there. Because I've been looking for it too. I've been waiting for somebody to post evidence that Mr. R was fired with cause. And nobody posted yet. I was waiting. I'm like, somebody somewhere knows how to get it. They know how to go into the HR files and get that. So only time will tell. So in the meantime, if you haven't seen Mysterious T's videos, the best thing you can do is check out this guy's channel, Papa Gut, I think is his name. Yeah, Papa Gut. He, he um, basically live streams every time Mysterious posted a new video. So essentially her video is on his page. You can check it out there. And I'll have a link to it in the description. This person also did a decent job so far. I'm not done watching it. Did a decent job um, trying to break down Trisha's lies as well. Huang Li. This is a new channel. Seven subscribers. But um, like I'm saying, like this Trisha situation make you hot. This, this Trisha situation make you like paying attention. So I'll also put a link to this in my description as well. Also, Trisha Paytas has been deleting videos from her channel. Um, videos that of her talking crap on other people. I mean, she really believes this, this is only karma, nothing else. So she thinks deleting the videos will reverse the karma. But also videos from Mysterious T's channel that will show her saying things that contradict herself. So you can download them here and I will also put this in my description box for posterity. So what this means is Trisha has been working today to cover her A and something that's disheartening to me is people still fall for Trisha's antics. Like people still thought Trisha was crying in her videos and people think Trisha is stupid. This is what you need to understand about people like Trisha. Donald Trump, people think the same thing about Donald Trump too. P people think Donald Trump is stupid. These people are not intelligent, you know, like they're not going to blow your mind, but they're not stupid. And when I say stupid, I mean incapable of acting in self-interest. These people only act in self-interest. You don't become a multi-millionaire without some sense of acting in self-interest. Trisha is targeting Mysterious T. Trisha wants these videos down. Trisha does not want to see, does not want anyone to see these videos. Period. Have you wondered why Trisha has never mentioned Mysterious T? How she so adamantly says this all started in the subreddit. This all started in the subreddit. She kind of referred to Mysterious T in her latest video, but she never says the name and she says it in passing. Yo, she knows what the hell she's doing. She knows if she says Mysterious T's name, people are going to Go over there and watch the video and watch how Trisha lies. She knows that. Maybe now she'll say their name now that the video is deleted or it's not deleted. Now that the video is removed. Um, but if Ethan helps her put it back up, she's going to she's going to delete. If she says the name, she'll delete. <laughs> she'll delete that video where she says the name. She doesn't want people to see this video. And she is trying to be strategic about how 
to make sure of that. Some people are like, oh no, it just automatically flagged Mysterious Tea. No, Trisha purposely did that in Mysterious Tea talks about in one of her lives. And even on her Twitter, she has an image to show that Trisha Paytas manually asked for it to be taken down. Trisha Paytas or somebody on Trisha Paytas' behalf. I mean, we cannot prove that Trisha Paytas logged in and did it, but somebody did, (laughs) okay? And I believe it's Trisha Paytas that this was done intentionally or she asked for it to be done. People think Trisha is too stupid to do that. She's not. Trisha is richer than you for a reason. She is a self-interested person. She behaves out of self-interest. Always. Always. Like literally always. Okay? She's not stupid. She knows what she's doing. And there are people who really want me to infantilize this woman. She is not an infant. She is not a person who does not have autonomy. She is an adult person who makes their own decisions, who is a multi-millionaire. Okay. She is not a baby. I just had to say that. Because the way some of y'all, the way some of y'all talk about Trisha, the way some of y'all talking like you want me to think about her, I'm just like, you want me to think of her like a toddler. No. 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 Which brings me to what I was talking about earlier. I want to talk about my stance on the narrative of what's going on. Because like I said, people are discussing it in a way that I think is problematic. There is a post that I will link to in the description that basically shares my stance on everything. Let me clarify this. I am not speaking on whether or not Trisha was essayed. I am speaking on the fact that she lies. That is what all of this is about. And the lies are going too far because now it's affecting other people. That's what all of this is about. Literally. Okay. So if you are some annoying Trisha Stan, which by the way, I used to be one of you. I used to love Trisha Paytas. But you can't be that daft. And you sure as hell are not going to put words in my mouth. No, you're not. You are not. And if you, if I catch you in the comments trying to do that, trying to put words in my mouth because you heard some other half-ass T channel say some stupid stuff, I'm just going to block you. Let me clarify my stance. And basically what this post says, I agree with. The first thing that because Trisha bragged about having relations with teachers, she couldn't have been essayed. She had relations with People she claims to be teachers, sometimes they're her old teachers, sometimes they're her professors, sometimes they're people who have a teaching profession, but she was never in their class. Okay, the story always changes. Listen, I know that the story always changes because I used to be a Trisha fan. I used to watch her stuff for years, for years. I'm talking about back when she was in the Eminem music video, okay? I know she, she likes, I used to brush it off as she's just telling stories. I, nothing she ever said was serious to me. 
until she started talking about her essay and lying on it. But I don't agree that just because she has relations when she's a legal adult, that doesn't mean she's never experienced essay. Um, because she has fantasies, she has student teacher fantasies. That also does not mean she never experienced essay. There are people who have lots of weird fantasies, but we don't we don't go to the kink community and tell them since you love being bound and tied, you can never be kidnapped. I don't agree with that. That doesn't, and we also know that people, some people react, reenact their trauma mentally and it can manifest as a fantasy. So I don't agree with that. You, you're not going to tell me that that is proof that she was never a say. No, that might be evidence that she was honestly for She also, I know this isn't really part of the discussion, but she also used to talk a lot about incest. She could have been just trying to get attention or it could be speaking to something that actually happened. I don't know. By the way, let me just remind myself, I need to keep, I need to keep my opinion about what happened to myself. I need to keep it to myself. I'm not going to speak on what I think happened anymore. I'm not going to do it. But anyway, my point, you get my point. That's not proof that she wasn't essayed. Um, Nobody gets uh, essayed by that many people. If you've been essayed once, you increase your likelihood of getting essayed again by a different person. Did you, did you, did you know that? Did you know that? I thought people knew that. The crime rate in Byron is low. So what? That doesn't mean anything. We know that essay doesn't typically get reported. And we know that essay typically happens in the home. So there's a lot of pressure to not report it. You know, when the person who feeds you and puts a roof over your head and raised you is the one essaying you, it's kind of hard to report it. That just, that just made me mad. And that mysterious T put that in her video. I don't like that talking point. I don't think it's relevant. Like I, I think it's literally irrelevant. Like it just adds a tiny dust. I don't think it's relevant because I don't think SA and the crime rate are related. I can understand Maybe you think there's an increase of SA because there's high crime, but you're not going to have me believe that because there's low crime, the SA isn't happening. No, no, I really don't believe that's how it works. Um, If this happened, it would have been reported. The school would have taken it seriously. We know schools don't take a lot of things seriously. How many decades did it take for schools to, for schools to start talking about bullying? Like how many, how many movies we have to watch about bullies basically unaliving other students almost And schools never gave a dang about bullying. We know that schools don't take things seriously. We know that schools have a reputation to uphold. And you can't tell me that. You can't tell me that your college campus, that there will be 50 witnesses of an R and somebody recorded it and put it on Facebook and and an R kit was done and files were, were put in place and reported. And the school going to act like, what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> not on our campus. So don't even play. Don't even play. Y'all know schools don't give a damn sometimes. <laughs> so don't even play with that. Don't even play about Mr. Ryan. Mr. R was a good guy. So he never could have essayed. That's another one. I know you're lying. 
No, 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 no. So you know what that means? That means you think Harvey Weinstein didn't do what he did. Because everyone in Hollywood sang his praises. That means you don't think Bill Cosby did what he did. Because he was America's dad. Like a dude's reputation doesn't mean he is not capable of essay. Don't even play like, uh uh-uh. People acting, people acting brand new. No, no, no. Like that's what, that's what I can't deal with. There is already so much damning evidence that shows that Trisha's a liar. Why you gotta act brand new just to make it sound worse? It's already bad. It already sound worse. To me, when I hear people use this rhetoric, it tell it makes me feel like you don't you don't think for yourself. You don't think. The tr- uh, next one, people don't. They say that Trisha said she was never essayed. When I say that Trisha lied on her essay, I'm not talking about those videos. I am not referring to the videos where she said nothing ever happened with me and my teachers. I'm not talking about that. Why? Because that was a time before she was open about speaking on her essay. So, I mean, (sighs) y'all are acting like essay victims don't try to keep it under wraps. That's something that people keep private. So, no, I'm not referring to when she was saying that nothing happened. And don't, don't effing put word, don't come in my comments talking about just because she said nothing happened. No, I, I never said I agree with that narrative. I never said I agree with that narrative. I disagree with that narrative. When I say Trisha paid this lied, I'm talking about the inconsistencies in which she spoke on the essay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about nine years ago where she was never talking about her essay. Trisha uh, complimented Mr. R in the past. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean nothing happened. Like there are just certain things that it doesn't mean nothing happened. I don't know. I don't know how to better explain it if you don't get it. Maybe she did like Mr. R. I don't know. Maybe she fantasized about him. Maybe she liked him. Maybe she was hoping he would do something. I don't know. I don't know. Child, honey, child, I don't know. But what I do know is that it's not proof or evidence that nothing happened. Okay? I'm not going to tell you what I think happened now. So please don't use that and and try to figure out what I think actually happened. I'm not going to speak on what I think happened anymore because the way people play telephone with stuff, it, it's annoying me. Now, the last one. This one, I don't know if I agree with. I didn't see this part. This person says, Trisha has changed her story so many times, she must be lying. This person says, I agree with this in reference to Trisha, who has changed details to a bizarre degree. That trauma alone can't explain. But please be aware that victims often change their story as a response to trauma. Okay, I, I understand what she's saying. Because I, I was trying to explain that. Actually, I was talking to somebody in my comments. We were talking about this. It is not uncommon for a victim to have memory loss or to um, have confusion about what happened. What happened first before that well, what, 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 what were we wearing? Where were we? That's not abnormal. At, that's not abnormal at all, especially when the victim is being forced to tell the story. Like they're trying to file the police report. So they have to say what happened or there's a lawsuit. So they have to say what happened. You get what I'm saying? That is not, um, 
th- th- that's not uncommon. What is uncommon is for decades later to willingly, voluntarily, ain't nobody asked you, Lee, tell the story of your essay over and over and over and over and the very important key details are changing. That, that is called lying. There, no, I'm sorry, no. There is not, there ain't no essay victim that will voluntarily tell their story and change the key details 50, 11 million times. It was one person, no, it was two. It was at the school, no, it was at the house, no, it was at daycare, no, it was at the gym, no, it was in the bathroom. Like, uh uh-uh, uh 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 uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link to this person's post because I agree with them a hundred percent. And I want you to know that's my stance. How long I've been talking? For 30 minutes. Woo! This is my shortest one. Yes. <laughs> I'm like Trisha, this is gonna be really short. Only 30 minutes. <sighs> okay. So I hope that better clarifies my stance. Okay, please do not compare me to these other tea channels. When I get into tea, when I'm invested enough, and also somebody's like, oh my gosh, you're calling it tea, you're calling it drama. Baby, this is, some, this is somebody's trauma and you're calling it drama. Trisha Paytas is the one who turned it into drama. Trisha Paytas is the one who turned it into tea. It is now tea. It's now officially tea. I'm Trisha Paytas turned it into tea. I don't know. I don't know what else. I don't know what else you want us to tell you, honey. She used the stories of her essay as entertainment for mul- for at least two years. I don't know if she spoke on it more than two years ago, but I know for at least two years. She was telling her story as entertainment for us for a long time. It's tea. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if that hurt your feelings. Go cry to Trisha. Go, go, go cry to Mama Trisha. See if she see if she'll respond to you. See, see if she'll say, Oh, come here, baby. <laughs> So anyway, my point was, don't compare me to these other tea channels. If I'm invested enough in something to, to make a video on it, don't compare me to them. I'm not like them. I don't just regurgitate. I don't, I don't just regurgitate what I heard somebody say. I don't just regurgitate what is the popular thing. I think for myself. And I seek truth. I am seeking the evidence. I am seeking. I am seeking. I'm not just regurgitating or, oh my God, something tantalizing. I'm not just tickling my my senses. I'm seeking the truth about something that's got me hot. So don't, don't let me in with them, please. Okay. What time is it? I'm going to get ready to go to my workout. But thank you for watching. If you feel this video is worth other people seeing, remember to like the video. That is how other people know to watch this video. I appreciate you staying with me because there are so many people posting videos about this topic, but you chose to sit and hang out with me. And for that, I appreciate it. I appreciate our parasocial relationship and I'm looking forward to building more. So until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.